So now let's see the fully refrigerated ships. So for a gas ship, it is fitted with real equation plant. So this is the basic uh, lineup and understanding of real equation plant. So first, let's see. So we have this cargo tank, which is a prismatic cargo tank on a refrigerated ship that we have already seen. Now for uh, on the refrigerated ship, we load, we have done the, we came out of the dry dock, we did the inerting, we take out the inert gas by putting the vapor in the tank, the gassing up, then cool down the tank with some liquid and now we are loading the cargo. Now, whenever we are putting the cargo or vapor in the tank also, this there will be a lot of vapor generation. So that is called boil off. What is boil off? Like uh, any liquid when it is heated above its boiling point, it will turn into vapor or gas. Like for water, the boiling point is 100 degrees centigrade. So above 100 degrees centigrade, it starts becoming boiling start becoming gas, gaseous states or vapor. So this, uh, the gases which are carried in gas carriers, LPG or LNG, on this refrigerated ship, the boiling point of this gas, suppose propane is minus 42, different gases have different boiling point. So propane my, uh, boiling point is minus 42. So when this gas will enter here, the liquid will enter here, the tank, if it is uh, having a little bit higher temperature, whenever because of vibration or heat exchange from outside or uh, for any reason, whenever the liquid will uh, reach the temperature of more than minus 42, that is the boiling point, it will start becoming vapor and that is called boil of gas. So this boil of gas, when Will, especially at the surface, there will be a lot of boil of ventilation and it will keep continuing, keep continuing. So, uh, if we don't re liquefy this gas, then uh, there will be a lot of loss of the gas also, and also tank pressure will also increase and temperature will not be maintained. So, to keep uh, to avoid the loss of the cargo in the vapor form and keep the tank pressures and temperature in control, we reliquify this boil of vapor gas. So, for reliquifying, we take the gas and very simple. Uh, this, is, this is the reliquation plant. Only three steps generally. So, first the gas is compressed. This is a simplified version of a reliquation plant. So we will compress the gas. So why we are compressing? Because we want to make the gas liquid. And for making the gas liquid, we have an option of comp compressing. It is very easy. Now the gas is compressed and in liquid state, but it is very hot because it is compressed just now. So we want to cool it in the condenser. After condenser, the gas is cooled, uh, the liquid is cooled, and then it will pass through expansion valve and with the P1, V1, T1 uh, pressure is inversely proportional. So the volume increases, pressure decreases, temperature also will uh, decrease, and like you have in your AC also. So the liquid will expand and become gas and temperature will decrease and cool liquid will, liquid will come down here. So this is a simple cycle of your real equation plan. You can make a block diagram like this in this exam that is asked. That boil of gas is taken, compressed, heated gas is cooled, or liquid becomes liquid and the cooled liquid is expanded and put in the tank. So, then there is a little bit more complication. Some gases don't get compressed only in one cycle. So we have 
this one is single stage then we have double stage or triple stage compressor also. so we compress it two or three times keep counting suppose this one is compressing up to two bars the next compressor will compress up to four bars and third compressor will compress up to eight bars so different stage compressors are there depending on the requirement of the cargo and the pressure and temperature so for lng is minus 42 so we can have three stage compressor also because we need to cool the gas up to very negative temperatures so this is what is relification plant so the cargo is coming from the shore tank shore side tank and the loading is going on and when the loading is going on the cargo is filled till here and the, the boil off is taking place and the boil off and pressure of the tank and temperature of the tank is controlled by the reliquification plant and this way the cargo is always kept at its uh, temperature otherwise with the exchange of the heat even if you have insulation but uh, this insulation is not 100 percent and slowly slowly for over a long period of time all the liquid will become in gas if we don't have the liquidation plant so cargo is loaded and boil of gas is going to condenser and then con compressor then condenser then expansion valve and then returning to the tank also during the cooling down also same thing we are using the reliquation plant so during cooling down we are putting car cargo is spread from the deck tank or we have some we keep some spare cargo every time in the deck tank or if not then we take from the shore and we spray in the cargo line so again there will be a lot of vapors same it will be compressed condensed and used expanded and temperature is controlled pressure is also controlled and all the pipelines are also cooled down so we have oil cooled cargo compressor or if the condenser is cooling by oil cool or water cool depending then we have some methanol pumps in the methanol tanks uh, one or more portable methanol pumps are there which are used as uh, anti-freezer on LPG vessels to remove the hydrate formation so as we told it we are loading gases at very minus temperatures and uh, this water moisture if it gets crystallized it can form hydrates with, if it reacts with gas liquid it will form hydrates and it can damage the crystals of water can damage the pump by discharging so to avoid that we can put methanol but we have to take permission from charter then let's see the cargo heaters and the booster pumps so booster pump is there for uh, boosting the pressure of the liquid like enhancing if the pump is having a lot of back pressure it's not able to discharge then we put one booster pump so this on the line ahead suppose sometimes you have very long pipelines so we need more pressure of the cargo and for that we are using booster pump then uh, heater cargo heaters are there suppose that uh, cargo is uh, at minus 45 and uh, the shore people need the cargo at uh, minus 42 so we need to heat a little bit of cargo and that's the time we will use the cargo heaters so if you want to discharge in a little bit higher temperature we need cargo heaters then you have the fixed fire fighting system on the gas carrier generally we have the dry chemical powder system the LPG ships are provided with fixed uh, dry chemical fire extinction system on the deck. So these are the four monitors for the fixed fire fighting monitors. And then you have the hoses, portable hoses also. And the uh, fixed four monitors from the manifold. Always, always ready. Then you have the pilot activating boxes, activating bottles. If you open from here, the fixed ECP will be activated on both, we have to open both the walls after taking out the thing. Same way you have the bottles for the, on the manifold also. 
similar system like the PO2 system and uh, nodules are activated. Then you have the handheld BCP nodules that will be operated by the actuating button installed in each whole unit. So portable holders are also there. You can activate them like this and use them like this to wear the fire tool. Also you have uh, for PP different gas tools which also go on like this with the SCB effect to make gas lights. Then we have the CO6 CO2 system which is there on most of the ship and like that but here we have only for engine room or purifier room. So same uh, can operate with pilot bottles like this. Pilot bottles are there from the fire control station or the CO2 bottle room. So we open the box which for which area and bottles we need. Take out the pin, but be careful before opening the box. First thing is that all persons should be out, and many times, this if you open just opening this pin, uh, it's connected to some uh, purifier room walls, and your fuel oil to many of the pumps can be stopped depending on the ship. So be careful, never open this wall just to check the bottom or see. So you open the pin, open the box and then uh, rotate and open the pilot bottles, put the pins inside and put the lock down and open the pilot bottle and the uh, CO2 bottles will be activated. Now if you want to do manual release then there is a button in the CO2 door, open the box and the pin and then rotate the walls. And then you go to the each bottle which you want to release. And uh, so by that box, release a remote release is deactivated. So when you release, you open this pin, put the plunger, and that bottle will be released. And finally, we we'll flush the lines so that uh, you can know that bottle is fully empty.